Hi guys, Bob Collins for Divers Supply. I'm going to speak to you briefly about valves. I've got some shots that I'm going to put up on the screen. I'm going to talk about a little bit. And we're going to be talking mainly about our current uh, most popular types of valves out there, which are the yoke valve and the DIN valve. And it really doesn't matter too much about the basic size of the tank. Uh, there's small tanks, the 13s, the 16s, the 19s, um, any of those particular, all the way up to 133s, 149s, the big steel tanks. They all tend to use this particular, either one of these. And of course, one of the most popular today is called the Pro Valve. And what a pro valve is, it allows you to have either a yoke configuration or a DIN configuration simply by taking out the insert. Now, what I'd like to do is talk about some of the valves that we've seen, uh, things like J valves, K valves, uh, Y valves, things like that. So let's take a little walk up through the service area you can see some of our tanks this is just a small portion of the tanks that we work on and uh, so let's take a look at these valves as we walk up through here there's that offset den i was telling you about you can see how it's kind of angled up right there keeps it offset and tilted up here's a straight barrel what we call a straight barrel den and you can see where it's pointing up also. And this is the one I've been showing you, like the pro valve with the insert out. This is a yoke valve with the DIN insert in it. And that little dent is in many tank valves. It just helps you get a pick in there to get the, the O-ring out. This is an old style non-DIN uh, convertible type of yoke valve. And of course, we've got another DIN valve here, uh, convertible yoke to DIN. This is actually a double, we call this a Y valve, and it will handle two yoke regulators at the same time. And this is an old J valve. We really don't see these made anymore, but they're still used out there. There's a rod that runs from that lever, and when you get down to about 500 PSI, you pull that lever down and it gives you the remainder of your air. And of course, what we're looking at here, this a lot of people say, so what's in the tank? And this is a snorkel, and you see that little hole in the end of it right there. So if there's any moisture at all in the tank and you go head down, feet up, and the moisture uh, should go down towards what would be the top of the tank. The snorkel sticks up so that you still get air and uh, it keeps, uh, keeps any water from going in your regulator. On the end there, it's got little uh, angles on it so that we can snug it up. So, because of course it's screwed into the bottom of the valve. This happens to be a dust cover. This can be used on a uh, on the pro valve or many of the other valves, this one's green, and they come in a lot of different colors. This goes around the, the valve on the tank, and this goes over the uh, opening just to kind of say, hey, uh, this has not been used yet. And of course, you always presume that it's not been used. Always check it before you leave your, your location to go diving but this also protects the O-ring and the general opening that's on the, uh, on the valve. I'm gonna show you another piece. There we go. If your valve is in the DIN configuration, this is a screw-in uh, dust cover with a string on it, like you see here, protector. But this screws in if you've got the yoke adapter out of it. And now we've got the insert out. You notice there's a, another O-ring inside here, just like a, a DIN first stage. And then you could actually take a DIN regulator and screw it right into tank valve. You can see how much shorter this is from here 
to hear versus utilizing the DIN, the yoke to DIN adapter. So that's one of the cool things about this particular valve. So that's a brief look at tank valves. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're in the market for a new tank, make sure as you look around, you're checking out what kind of valve it comes with. Maybe you've got a DIN regulator. Maybe you've got a yoke regulator. Do you need an adapter of some kind? And of course, if you're out there looking for used tanks, make sure you're real careful about inspecting those valves and what types and what condition they're in. So again, I'm Bob Collins for Diver Supply. And as we always say, dive safe out there. Thanks for watching.